would you like? Um, well, nothing in particular. Why do you ask? No, I thought you might like to come for dinner. No, I'd love to. Um, something special, is it? No, no, nothing special. I've, um, I've invited Simon to. Simon? Oh, well, it uh, should be a very pleasant evening. Good, I'll see you about seven then. Yeah, yeah I'll look forward to it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Chris, um, any news? Or... Oh, no. What's up? Oh, nothing. I'll, I'll be back in a sec. Well, what do you mean you haven't spoken to him? Just then. Well, why? I mean, he's an obvious suspect. Yeah, well, that might be so, but I have to find him first. Yeah. Find him? Yeah, I've been looking for him all over town. Looks to me like he's done a runner. Where are you been? I was having coffee at the diner. Well, not with him, I hope. No, not with him. Just as well. Yeah, I hear he got off completely. You never get a good behaviour bond. Stinks, if you ask me. Look what happened to poor Jack. Yeah, no, it doesn't seem fair, does it? But you two. First Irene, then Al Stewart, then Fisher, and now you. Well, I happen to think Irene's right. Thanks, Dal. At least someone round here's got half a brain. Yeah, well, you can all go to hell, because I don't care anymore. Selena! No, I don't care! Oh, what are you doing here? I had to see you. What's going on? I'm really sorry for not meeting you. But I, I couldn't turn up. It was too dangerous. Hale said you'd left town. I was told to leave town. Why? It doesn't matter. I know too much, and now Fisher knows. It goes back a long way. I don't want to get you involved. Yeah, but... I, um... won't be able to see you again. Not for a while, anyway. Jessie? Shouldn't even be here now. Hey, Selena, have you got that history? You guys are crazy. What if Irene catches you? Look, we're saying goodbye, all right? He's leaving. That should make you happy. Oh, well, excuse me for breathing. I better go. No, not yet. Selena. No, look, please, at least say goodbye properly. Stuart, you said he saw him last night at the surf club with Selena Roberts. Reckon we might have a chat with her. Already done it. And? Well, no go. Got no idea where he is. Come on, let's face it. I don't really think we're going to be seeing Jesse McGregor around Summer Bay again. Well, sounds like you're giving up. No, there's no when to quit. I'd suggest you do the same thing. We've got more important things to do than worrying about rounding up drifters like him. Hang on a minute, what is it with you? We nick this kid in possession of a stolen vehicle and you give him a character reference that makes him sound like Mother Teresa on a good day. Then we get a lead that he's mixed up in that car stealing ring and he splits and you don't care. I mean, don't you want to... Constable! What? Just drop it, okay? was our Stuart. He said he saw him last night at the surf club with Selena Roberts. Reckon we might have a chat with her. Already done it. And? Well, no go. Got no idea where he is. Come on, let's face it. I don't really think we're going to be seeing Jesse McGregor around Summer Bay again. Well, sounds like you're giving up. No, there's no when to quit. I'd suggest you do the same thing. We've got more important things to do than worrying about rounding up drifters like him. Hang on a minute, what is it with you? We nick this kid in possession of a stolen vehicle and you give him a character reference that makes him sound like Mother Teresa on a good day. Then we get a lead that he's mixed up in that car stealing ring and he splits and you don't care. I mean, don't you want to... Constable! What? Just drop it, okay? You remember Don? Oh, good to see you again. Yeah. Hello, Simon. How are the children? Ah, oh, in bed, thank goodness. Fingers crossed to sleep. All oh, right. Had enough for one day, have you? Oh, I'm just looking forward to sitting down and talking to some adults for a change. Huh? Now, beer or wine? Oh, wine, thanks. Yes, please. Oh, well, you expecting someone else? You think so? Oh, Chris, what are you doing here? I just thought I'd drop in and see if you needed anything. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Uh, come in. Sir. 
I didn't know you wore glasses. Oh, yeah, just need them for night driving. Oh, all right. Now, you know Don, of course. There you go, mate. Hi, and Chris. this is a friend of mine, Simon Broadhurst. <laughs> Simon, this is Chris. Simon. Chris has been wonderful looking after the kids and doing stuff around the house. I don't know what I would have done without you. <laughs> That's great. Oh, I didn't mean to barge in, Angel. I'm no, sorry. no, no, you're fine. Now, can I get you a drink? We've only got beer or wine. Yeah, okay, mineral water. Mineral water? You're not drinking? No, don't drink. No, oh. really, anyway. <laughs> Uh, so, um, any more news on Jesse? Uh, afraid not. But uh, you do still think he could have been mixed up in that stolen car racket? Oh, sure, it's a possibility, but until we catch up with him, it's going to be a bit hard to tell. Uh, stolen car racket? Yeah, Selena Roberts and some of the kids uh, stumble across these crims that had nicked Don's car. And this Jesse guy's mixed up in it? Well, I'd say it was a foregone conclusion. So no one's seen him? No. I mean, we're doing everything we can, but personally, I think he's been warned off. Yes, yes, we all know by whom. Oh, Miss. Uh, Selena Roberts. Thank you. Some school captain she's turned out to be. You certainly worked this one through, haven't you, Dom? Well, some things just keep gnawing at you, Angel. Yeah, tell me, um, did you ever find out who was putting that money into your bank account? No. Creepy, isn't it? Chris has been looking into it for me. Uh, any leads? Oh, no. Not as yet. We've spoken to the bank and they've promised to keep an eye on it for us, get a description, but really, unless we catch them in the act. It's... Well, that's pretty unlikely, isn't it? Well, we can only try. Well, whatever happens, you've been marvellous. You don't know how safe it feels to have a cop like you in Summer Bay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. Yes, to the sergeant. To Chris. You heard from that boyfriend of yours yet? Look, the coppers are going to catch him sooner or later, so why don't you save him the problem and tell him where he is? What makes you think they don't already know? Well, if they knew, they'd have him, so don't talk rough. Well, for your information, it was the cops who told him to leave now. Is that right? <laughs> no prizes for guessing who told you that. What did you say? Nothing. Did you say the police told him to leave town? Yeah, that's right. What's it to do with you, son? I saw Hale last night and he gave the impression he was hot on the trail. I just bet he did. And I bet everyone believes him too. That's not the impression I got. Yeah? Yeah, I was in the police station yesterday. Hale and one of the other coppers were having a bit of a blue. She was basically saying that uh, he went out of his way to get Jesse off. Is Selena around? Yeah, sure. Come in. Selena, visitor. Simon, what do you want? I'll get straight to the point. I know it was very difficult for you to talk in the diner before, but I'd like to know exactly what Jesse told you. Why? What difference will it make? I don't know what difference, but something's going on. Why would a nice country cop like Chris Hale be saying he's looking for Jesse when he's not? Look, I don't know what's going on either. All I know is Jesse's been run out of town. But you saw him before he left? Yeah. That's it? Did he say anything? Did he tell you why he had to leave? Why should I tell you? Maybe you shouldn't. Maybe I'm just plain nosy. Yeah, it sounds like it. So humor me. Look, he didn't tell me anything. He said he didn't want to get me involved. That's it? He didn't say anything else? No. Just that he knew too much, whatever that means. What do you think it means? How would I know? Was Jesse mixed up in a stolen car racket? What is this? Are you a cop? Selena, trust me. I've got a feeling there's a lot more to this than meets the eye. But I need your help. I don't know what else I can do. I've told you everything I know. You can tell me where you found Fisher's car. Why 
not. You shivered. You're feeling it, aren't you? This is the grave and where I heard that voice. I know it sounds spooky, but it's got to mean something. Like what? We're meant to be together. That's what I think. Whether it's through Shannon's mother or some other way, it's going to happen. Black. Won't be a minute, I've got a fresh batch of it. Hi. Uh, you must be Constable Garner. That's right. Who are you? Simon Vorderhurst. I met your partner last night, Chris Hale. That's so? Yes. Seems like a nice sort of chap. A real country cop. Whatever that means. You know, friendly, takes an interest in people. Y yeah, well, the police aren't as bad as some people would have them believe. I agree. I mean, Chris Hale seems to me to be a model of what the police service should be. He's honest. Helpful. Doesn't drink. That's right, he doesn't. He never touches the stuff. Aren't you forgetting the station's Christmas party? I seem to remember hearing that Chris Hale was a bit tired and emotional that night. Pardon? Blind, you know, full of the state school hat rack. Yeah, well, that wasn't Sergeant Hale's fault. There was a few clowns down at the station thought it might be funny to spike up his orange juice. There we go. $2.40, thanks. Oh, thanks. Anyway, can't stand around here gossiping. <laughs> it's nice meeting you. Yes, bye. I mean, you can't be serious. I told you, it all fits. Well, just because you went to the bank and they told you there was no record of any police investigation, what did you expect them to say? Didn't it occur to you that it might be confidential? There's more, Angel. I don't want to hear it. Simon, you're wrong. I know you are. I don't want to hear any more of this nonsense. Now, Chris Howell has been fabulous ever since Shane died. Sometimes I wondered how I would have managed without him. Doesn't that strike you as odd? That he wanted to help me? No, it doesn't strike me as odd. You think I'm jealous? Well... Perhaps I am a little, yes. I'm also a little hurt that you think I'd accuse someone of something like this because I was jealous. You don't know Chris. He's a decent human being. He wouldn't lie to me, Simon. You're not going to make me believe it either. Call him. What? There's only one way to be sure. Ask him over. Call him. Right, I will. Thanks for coming over, Chris. Hey, thanks for asking me. You know, it's never any hardship coming over here. Simon. Hello, Chris. Hey, how's my boy? Good. That's good. You know how much he loves seeing you. They do say children are good judges of character, don't they? Mm, yes, they do. Oh, I haven't come in a bad time, have I? Oh, no, no, of course not. I wouldn't have asked you if it was. I drew a picture of you catching some crooks. Come yeah. and look. Yeah, OK. Fine. I knew I should have let you talk me into this. Angel. No. Oh, you should have listened to my own instincts. Now I've got his too. You said so yourself. Children are good judges of character. I was being ironic. I know what you're being. I'm not wrong about this angel. You're not going to let go, are you? All right. But I want nothing to do with it. I wash my hands completely of the whole thing. Understood? OK. What's going on? We thought you'd like to know we've found out who's been putting the money in Angel's account. Excuse me? Sorry, correction. I've found out. Angel wants it clearly understood she wants nothing to do with this. That's right. Anybody on her? Oh, come, Chris. Do we have to play this out all the way? Me? You're saying it was me? I know it was. <laughs> well... I can see why you didn't want to have any part of this. I'm sorry about this, Chris. I tried to stop him. You told Angel the police were checking on the payments. But there's no record of that. The bank says no one asked them anything. And that's it. That's your whole case. I've got to tell you something, Simon. You'd make a pretty lousy detective. I told Angel I'd look into it, and I did. Discreetly. I just figured she didn't want her business spread all around town. Why would I do it anyway? Guilt. Guilt? For what? 
I hardly even knew Angel till that time Dylan ran away. And the money was going to her account long before that. Oh, you knew her all right. You knew all about what happened to her and Shane. Simon? Everybody knew about Shane. Yes. But you knew more than most. What's that supposed to mean? Simon, that is enough. I'd like you to go. Let's talk about that night, Sergeant. The night Shane was knocked off his bike. The same night you were at the police Christmas party. The same night some of your mates spiked your orange juice. Are you going to leave or am I going to throw you out? Angel? Go on. You drove away from that party, didn't you? Not really knowing you were drunk. I don't know what you're talking about. But then you had an accident on the way home. Clipped a bike. And you suddenly realized what must have happened at the party. But you weren't thinking straight. You could have wrecked your career. So you quickly drove on. You probably woke up in the morning knowing it was a stupid mistake. But it was too late. You took your car for repairs at a certain car yard the police already suspected as being connected to a stolen car racket. And that was very clever. Because you knew it was the one car yard which couldn't afford to report the dent in the car to the police if anybody started asking questions. You're just making this up. I don't have to listen to this rubbish. I'd like to listen to it, Chris. Unfortunately, they weren't quite as smart as you. Oh. They were smart enough not to keep a record of every car that passed through the yard. But they did keep a workbook. This is a photocopy of a page from that workbook. It shows an entry on the 23rd of December, the morning after Shane's accident, for a repair. And beside the entry are the initials CH. Through the thing. I mean, come on, Angel, surely you don't believe this. It cost you, though, didn't it, Chris? First of all, because Shane died, partly because of that accident, and then these kids found out about this car yard. Somehow the police didn't quite get there in time to stop all of them getting out of town. Oh, this is just getting better and better, so now I'm corrupt, too. Unfortunately for you, one of them was in love. He stuck around. And when you caught him last week, he told you what he knew. So you had to strike a deal, right? That's why you had to go character witness for Jesse. That's why he suddenly disappeared. A kid like that drifts in and drifts back out again. Once everyone knows he's a crook, there's not much point in him sticking around. There's no great mystery in that. You said the police were looking for him. And gee, guess what? Another coincidence. There's no record of that either. As far as I'm concerned, Summer Bay gets rid of a kid like him. It's time to celebrate. We've had bigger fish to fry this week. You've got an answer for everything, haven't you? Innocent people usually do. No. What? You're not innocent. I can hear it in your voice. You knocked Shane down and you just left him there. How could you do that? I, t I told you. I get out. Get out of my house now. 